Republicans are accusing House Democrats of abusing their new position of power by using it to open up investigations into President Trump. One America's John Hines has more from Washington. The Democratic majority of the House Intelligence Committee, led by its chairman Adam Schiff, has announced a broad investigation into President Trump. And now the head of the government watchdog group Judicial Watch is speaking out, saying this amounts to political targeting of the president. Adam Schiff seems to be threatening to conduct a massive fishing expedition through all of President Trump's life. You know, Congress is supposed to provide oversight over the executive branch. Uh, the Constitution doesn't envision them uh, targeting uh, a person uh, for investigation. That's not what Congress is supposed to be doing. But it looks like it's going to do it anyway, even though there is no intersection, as the Democratic majority alleges, with the public interest, says Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton. Not to mention the fact that, as many might vaguely recall, there already was an investigation. It was an 18-plus month investigation by his Intelligence Committee. Uh, the Senate Intelligence Investiga Committee investigation is ongoing, as best I can tell. Then, of course, there's the Mueller investigation itself, which Fitton says seems to have no bounds as to what it's looking into. And then on top of that, you have the DOJ deciding to investigate President Trump. I I'm concerned uh, that the there's a new standard that... Uh, uh, the rule of law won't be able to protect the president from harassing investigations by the deep state over at DOJ or its acolytes over in the Congress. Disturbing perhaps for Fitton because those conducting investigations of the president appear to have no intention of investigating allegations of wrongdoing by other elected leaders, often despite evidence disclosed by Judicial Watch itself. So now they decided they're going to be investigating President Trump's finances. Why? Because they have subpoena power and they think they can get away with the abuse of office that comes with targeting President Trump in such a harassing way. Uh, you know, but they're not going to be asking questions about what the DNC was doing with the Justice Department, what Clinton's campaign lawyer was doing with the FBI general counsel in coordinating with him uh, on uh, the targeting of President Trump. Chairman Schiff's own announcement indicates that the new House Intel Committee's investigation may well continue long after the Mueller probe has concluded. John Hines, One America News, Washington.